are listening to Digital Pratees podcast where you going to learn digital marketing for free every single day. Please do give me a review if you find something interesting over here. Please do give me a review because I keep on learning every single day something new. I keep on applying that something new which I have learned in my life and I'll keep on sharing that something new which I have learned and applied and maybe I got some awesome results. Hey guys, welcome to this another episode of Digital Marketing Podcast where Digital Pratik is going to discuss which one is better, Instagram stories or Snapchat stories. Now, about a year ago, Instagram launched an almost identical version of one of the Snapchat's main features which is stories. Yes, the new Instagram feature had the same name and a similar look, quite a similar look and the same premise and friends could actually share photo, video updates on their profiles that would actually disappear after 24 hours. Over the course of this past year, what happened is Instagram has added face filters, um location tags, stickers, drawing tools, uh they have also added disappearing photo messages and they have recently recently like uh they have launched Instagram poll as well like 5 days ago all right so now instagram has almost surpassed snapchat and daily users yes the facebook owned app announced in the month of june 2017 that it had more than 250 million users creating stories every single day now more people are using instagram stories than the entire a uh, thing of snapchat app which i had a total of around 166 million daily users as of may 2017 so now snapchat fans probably won't want to hear this what i'm going to talk next in a couple of minutes in this particular episode but yes instagram is definitely doing many of the things snapchat does and doing them even better all right so Instagram has added benefit of the fact that it was already running an entirely separate and successful enterprise before Snapchat actually came along. So anything else Instagram adds obviously is now a purely extra advantage layered on top of its already massively successful app. Now Instagram has a more sophisticated forward thinking design and very very user friendly and user experience and while it's lagging behind Snapchat in some areas maybe all right maybe or maybe not it's already proven itself worthy if not better so if there is one category Snapchat is consistently beating Instagram in then it's its good old fashioned fun that's it nothing else but when it comes to people like marketers business profiles uh, Instagram is definitely a choice so i'm going to give you a couple of differences between those two applications and here we go so like Snapchat doesn't take itself too seriously and that shows in several facets of its app uh Uh, so there is no snapchat equivalent to boomerang yet all right <laughs> there is no snapchat equivalent to boomerang yet and it's one of the instagram's best features right now if you see like out of 10 uh, mostly like 2 to 3 videos would be of boomerang boomerang is used uh, extensively right now boomerang used to only exist in a standalone app but now instagram have added it as a feature inside instagram camera stories and i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if it's one of the most used features right now as i mentioned it's actually fun and it's 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 actually making any videos you shoot look well and cooler all right it's it's very cool feature of instagram stories now uh instagram drawing tools are also fantastic the app offers three different types of pens in a wide a- array of colors uh and an eraser as well a rainbow marker as well and these tools are quick and responsive they are found in the top of the instagram stories and they make your handwriting look great even if it's not <laughs> the new tool especially is the obvious winner in the category all right it's fantastic most of the times when i want to write i actually pick up the tool which is neon tool and the fact that you can make your handwriting look like a neon sign is incredibly cool and the results are just plainly and simply beautiful now snapchat has changed next to nothing about its drawing tool since the app launch and that is very very bad all right now that this are my personal opinion and obviously i've done some research as well so that's the reason why i'm saying a couple of things over here So the best thing about Instagram's location tag when we talk about the location tags especially right over here is how ridiculously it is easy to use. You can actually slap it on your screen, tweak the size, angle, location or even color then decide exactly what you want the location to say. That level of customization is unparalleled and it makes the user experience more fun. 
For me personally, the location tag is one of my favorite ways to keep up with friends and marketing as well because I want to actually go into location stories. Uh, Instagram has recently uh, launched this location stories on explore page. So if you are constantly doing a couple of location tags and if your stories are beautiful, Instagram might pick up uh, based on the algorithm might pick up a couple of stories and feature in Instagram stories uh, with location. All right. And that will uh, that might give you a boosted uh, exposure. Uh, then when we talk about direct messaging, Instagram's direct messaging interface is one I use very often to communicate with friends and family and obviously uh, for business purpose as well. I actually share posts I see around Instagram. I'll send links to products I'm interested in and I reply to people's stories as well. Now the interface is beautiful and well integrated with other aspects of the app. So I personally find it very, very uh, useful and very easy to use and user friendly as compared to Snapchat's direct messaging. Now the user experiences of stories themselves are almost identical. Photos and videos play through automatically or you can actually tap on the screen to move on to the next one. Tapping on the left side of the screen will actually rewind to the previous frame or previous uh, story. And the only major difference between uploading content to either app is that Snapchat allows you to choose the length of time someone can view an image for. And now they have also included the infinity sign. So it might not go till a, a person um, taps on your Snapchat story while Instagram does not have this feature. So for me, the extra swipe to get to the story plus the lack of additional engagement uh, on the content within Snapchat are major turn offs. All right. Uh, I actually like how Instagram stories appear right at the top of the home screen. So whenever I have the uh, Instagram app open, I actually see the new updated stories of people uh, and people whom I'm following straight away on my uh, eyeballs all right i see the new stories as soon as i open the app which entices me to open them before scrolling through my feed so the availability of uh, them makes them more appealing as compared to snapchat so the downside of instagram stories right over here uh, if i tell you is the fact that they auto play all right now this might be a little bit of harm for people because people can see when you have viewed their story and this is a dangerous game Instagram is playing. What if you ought to play a frenemy's story? All right. <laughs> what if you accidentally watch your ex-boyfriend's story? This is <laughs> hazardous feature and makes watching stories on Instagram more and more difficult. So keeping aside all of these uh, little points um, uh, neglected or ignored, we can say, and for personally me, Instagram uh, is the best solution right now as compared to Snapchat. And it's definitely a go to go uh, when it comes to business and obviously for marketing purpose as well. And uh, I love Instagram. So <laughs> that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, let me know what do you think about around, uh, around this uh, Instagram versus Snapchat and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Till then take care bye bye and as always guys stay awesome God bless and subscribe. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before you leave, before you leave, let me just tell you that please do give me a review. If you find something interesting over here, please do give me a review because that helps me rank over here and stand out from the crowd in digital marketing space. And that helps me boost my confidence in giving you and providing you as much possible as I can with the value stuff every single day to enhance my digital marketing knowledge. All right. So I'll see you in the review section and do give me a subscribe. Hit. Thank you.